welcome back to the monthly mistake series my name is stephanie and how have you guys been i know it's a long time right there are plenty of things that are going on simultaneously i wish i had more arms legs and more rings so that i can do all of these things at the same time anyway as usual i saw there are five top mistakes in february so now let's get started by 30 to 20 kill mistake the first mistake is the tiger's mouth for white at this moment. Um, first of all, locally, white already have enough eye space to make two eyes. So white doesn't have to play additional move inside of white's territory. And second, as we can see, black has two cutting points here. So if white pushes here, it forces black to block, and then white can use Atari on the top. So that at least the white can capture the two stones on the side. It will be much better than playing more stones inside of its own territory. So I just noticed that for most of, most of beginner players, they got scared when their opponents about to surround them. But don't worry and don't get scared as long as you have a seven or more eye space. Um, you're completely fine. So if you don't know what the basic life and death shapes are, go check my the basic shapes of life and death videos. Then you will have a more uh, clear idea how to make your group alive, how to protect yourself. The second mistake is played by 19 to 10 kill player, which is the cutting point here for black. Let me show you what happened and then we will talk about the mistake. So white approached here and black respond by playing the shoulder hit. First of all, I don't think the, the shoulder hit is a good move at this point in this situation because usually the shoulder hit works when there's a huge influence in the center. But as we can see, black only has a limited area in the center. So the corner will be a lot of bigger. So if I were black, I will play the kick first and then start pincering the two white stones. So in this situation, not only I can get some territory in the corner and expand my influence in the side while I can attack white two stones. So in the actual game, black played here and the white jumped to the corner directly. And then both players followed by the Joseki, which is correct. And then white started invading here, which I think is too aggressive. But then black played a kick. Mm, I will say this is a mistake, but I think the directly block will be a lot of easier for for black to attack this white stone. And then black went here, white extended, and black made uh, empty triangle, which I think there's another good move. All right, but these are not like very bad mistake that will flip the goal board or flip the situation. Okay, those are just um, some minor mistakes. Okay, and then white now cut it here, which is very, very aggressive move. So this move uh, is aiming to capture the two, uh, four black stones on the right side. And black made a Hane here which I think it's not good move again. So the four stones are more in danger in this uh, situation. So black should just make um, connecting move to save the four stones at least. So if the four stones are safe, then the white four stones are also in danger. But in this, in the actual game, a black played a Hane and a white Atari. So the main mistake in this game is the cutting point. So there's a strategy called watermelon and the sesame seed, which means that we always want to save the, the larger group instead of concentrate on the small group or um, any like a, a couple of stones. So in this situation, it seems this stone is an Atari, which is the sesame seed. And then the four stones are more like a watermelon, but that's actually a wrong idea. It doesn't mean the stone, the group with the last stone is always the sesame seed. We will need to judge the total value in the situation. So let's compare it with these two groups. One stone here, if black saved the stone, it forces white to connect, or white also can block here, then black and Atari and clamp. So at least 
um, black still have the outside and have some influence and potential on the side. So in the actual game, black thought cutting here will save the four stones, but after the stone is captured, not only the entire group on the right side of five stones are dead, and plus there's no influence anymore. Everything is broken at this point. So keep in mind, we always want to save the watermelon instead of the sesame seed. The third mistake is played by one to nine Q player, and now it's White's turn. So in the actual game, White extended here, which is the mistake, because the purpose of this move is to cut White into two pieces, two groups. But after White goes here, then Black now can extend, and there's no way for White to connect anymore. So where is the correct move? This is what happened in the actual game. Let's go back to this point. Then where is the correct move? So the correct move is the honey on the top. So the strategy of this move is to sacrifice the stone at the top so that white now can cut this black stone off and connect on the side as well. As we can see, after white cuts this black stone off, there's already enough eye space for white to live. All right, but that's not the, actually the main mistake that I want to show you. Uh, that's the first mistake. But this mistake didn't cause White to lose this game yet until White made a huge mistake later on. So let me just quickly jump to that point. It's right here. So Black now started invading um, the huge territory on the left side. So the fight over here will determine the game. And which I think at this point, white is leading. And so far so good, white is doing very well. And even though there's a double Atari, but that's not important for white because capturing his white stones only give black a false eye, which doesn't help this entire group to live. And after that, white played a Tasuji move to surround this entire black group. So if black doesn't, let's say if black, there's no way for black to connect the six stones on the left side, then there's not enough eye space for black to live on the left side. So until, let's see. So far so good. Everything is very well. Okay, up to this move. So after black cuts here, as we can see, there's no connecting move on the top for black at this point. There's an Atari move, then black has to capture and now white can squeeze this at the same time. Not only this move um, save the cutting point right here, but also um, protect the cutting point on the bottom over here because that's Atari move. So there's no way for black to cut through white anymore. However, after that exchange move are played on the board, um, which is this move, a mistake, then there is a way for black to connect now. Because of that exchange of played on the board, so that it gives black Atari move here. All right, so if that's the mistake, then where should white play? So instead of Atari here, that's impulsive move, means, uh, or some people like to call it reflecting move. That means you play too fast or without thinking, you automatically assume, okay, I need to play this Atari to protect my three stones, which is mm, lack of thinking. The correct move for weight should be honey here. First of all, this move can completely surround the entire black group. Second, this is a sente. So if black tries to do something over here, let's say a cut, let's say black played in this move, then the white can just simply Atari and then capture the entire dragon in the center. So after the tiger's mouth, Actually, it forces black to connect, either make tiger's mouth or connect. But then at this point, white has a sente, and then white can come back to fix the weakness. And now we can see the entire dragon is dead. The next mistake is played by a 1 to 4 dead player. So, what happened in this game is white clamped here, which is a good move. This move not only threatens 
um, the cutting point on the top, but also tries to take away the points from black. And black played a descending move here, which is the first mistake. However, white didn't catch that mistake by playing the Kasumi here. So where is the correct move? Actually, the descending move for black doesn't work because white now can just simply cut on the top and white now, a black needs to use the Atari and capture this white stone. Otherwise, the two stones at S12 and T12, these two stones will be captured. Then white can use Atari at the center again and just simply hunt it here and capture these two stones. So as we can see, if these two black stones are, are captured, not only black lost all the territory on the side, but also white gets even more points than black. More importantly, after these two stones are captured, this entire white group is completely alive. So in the actual game, black didn't see, sorry, white didn't see that uh, cutting point and then black played and uh, fixed the that cutting point but next move. The next mistake is played by six down player, uh, which is the extent here. So by looking at this move, probably you will have a question. How is this mistake? That's a good move. This move helped the two stones to connect at the same time. This move cut these two white stones off. So how is this a mistake? All right, so I, I suggest you guys to pause a few seconds and just analyze the whole board and see whether there's something going on on the board. All right, time's up. Hope you find it. All right, before I start talking about the answer, let me show you what happened in this game first. So both players started to fight, a co-fight on the top. And White Atari Atari one more time in order to get more liberties so that White can start a co here. White connects, Black start the co, and White Atari here. So at this point, um, Black didn't respond to co threat instead of capture the two stones on the on the left side. It's because um, I think Black now is worried about the co threat. There's not um, a same co threat. The crow threats with the same value for this crow. Then, so that black captured, and now white captured the four stones. So this entire dragon, there's only one eye for black right there. The top eye here is false eye, so that black needs to use the tiger's mouth to make the second eye on the side. And then white played additional move to protect the four stones. So at this point, black tanuki, which is the move here I just showed you. So locally, is that already alive, the whole group? So by looking at it, there's no problem. There, there's the eye here with two space, then there is a tiny piece of mouth on the bottom, if white pushes and descent, I have save, I'm safe. There's no uh, weakness. However, there's a Tasuji for white to kill that eye, but not clean kill with one move. So the correct answer is descend here first for white and then throw in, capture, then white can attack here. So that will be a co. So at this point, if white starts the co, uh, first of all, it's very, very close. Um, in the actual game, both player didn't see that move until around after 50 moves and then black played uh, B16 as end game move. Uh, at the end, Black still lost the five points. So this game is very, very close. Um, but if White saw this mistake, saw this move before, then White could have won this this game more, way more quickly. But both players didn't see that move until Black played this move at the end game move at the end. All right, those are the five mistakes that I find in February. If you have any questions, you can always leave the comment below. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook page. So my name is Stephanie. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.